Okay, everybody, we're back here with a $3.95 that was brought in. Customer saying it was acting like it was missing, not getting enough fuel. Did the testing on the fuel tank vent, like we showed in one of our other videos. Uh, checked the fuel lines, everything tested good. So we are now down to pressure checking the cylinder crankcase area. Uh, as you can see, we've removed the muffler and the carburetor my light in the way here and we have a plate here for our muffler and you saw my last video using those squirrely little plugs to try to plug what needs we got the line here that needs plugged and then we have our air intake that's getting plugged there so we are going to go ahead and... Hi everybody, I'm back here with a 395 that had uh, the complaint it wasn't running right, it was missing, acting like it wasn't getting fuel. Uh, so we did the, the first step, we checked our fuel tank vent, we checked our fuel lines, everything tested good. So now we are down to checking our crate case pressure. So we're gonna do a pressure back test. We've removed the muffler and the carburetor. Uh, we have the intake side is plugged off there, as you can see, along with the exhaust port has been plugged as well. So we are going to go ahead and pressure this up and see what we, what we can find. So, let's see if I can show you as we're pressuring it up here. So as you can see, that needle is slowly dropping down and it's definitely dropping more than one PSI per minute. So we are going to go ahead and get our bubbly water. And I always start at the decompression valve because nine times out of 10, that is our problem. And with these, I found dumping them on their side, you see the problem more readily. We'll take it back up to seven. And we do have some bubbles starting at the deco valve. You can see the bubbles start in there. Pressure it back up and see. It's not a terrible, terrible leak. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna check intake. Probably gonna end up pulling the flywheel and clutch. Check those areas. So it looks like we're probably changing out a deco valve, which is not, not uncommon. finding any other leaks, but I am going to 
pause this video and I'm going to pull the clutch and the flywheel just to make sure we don't have a leak in one of our seals. Okay, so we have our flywheel and our clutch pulled off on this 395. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to test and make sure the seals are not leaking along with that deco valve. Um, if it is just the deco valve, the customer has told us to go ahead and put a cylinder plug in it instead of replacing the deco valve, um, which if you don't use your deco valve, that's honestly your best course of action. Um, that way you don't have to worry about it leaking again. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pressure it up. Like I said, seven is our magic number. So we are going to go ahead and pressure it up to seven PSI. And I lay this all on the side to test the seals. That way just that soapy water kind of sits in there. And I'll show you if we got any bubbles. So flywheel side looks clear. Pull it around to our clutch side here. And that looks clear as well. So it looks like it's just the decompression valve that's causing us some problems here. Just go ahead and check our boot here real quick just to make sure. Just to double check ourselves here. No, not seeing anything. So we're gonna check the vacuum aside again real quick here. Make sure that's holding at seven. Go ahead here and we'll Watch the clock for four minutes here and see where we're at. All right, we are just about to four minutes and it's still holding at seven. So we are gonna go ahead and change out this decompression valve. We do have the OEM cylinder plug that we are going to change it out with. And all that takes is a 13 millimeter socket. debris out around it so you don't have anything falling into your cylinder. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna tighten this down until it is snug and then I'm gonna go ahead and pressure the saw back up to test for any leaks. I did have one time where I torqued it to the specs I was told and it actually stripped it out. 
So I go with snug as I can get it, then I check the cylinder. Um, that way I'm not stripping any threads out and we also don't have any leaks. So again, pressure side first. And pressure up to seven. Spray around it here. And again, our magic number is four minutes. So we're gonna let this set here and see where we're at. Okay, a little more than four minutes, but we are still at seven. So we are gonna switch the vacuum side and we are gonna go ahead and take it to seven again. for another four minutes. All right, let's check it again here. And we are still at seven. So we are going to go ahead and reassemble this saw back to its normal state. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get the flywheel put back on, the clutch, muffler, carburetor, the works, and then we will go out and test it and see how, how it goes. So I'll be back shortly.
they're on there for.